just got my AR-15 stock set back from Up Armored Knives and Coatings. And a while back, I did a review on the FFS, which is the Fight for Survival custom knife. And this is just a beautiful bronze, uh, G10 scales, really cool Kydex sheath. I'll have the review linked uh, right here in the description and right here on the video. And so once I did the review, Will Welling got in touch with me. He said, hey man, why don't you send a stock set for me to do and I'll, I'll do one of the coating jobs for you. And so I got on there and started looking at the different coating jobs that he does. He does some really cool designs. Now, I like skulls, but he does a lot of other stuff too. He also does a snakeskin pattern that's really neat. Uh, he also uh, does digital camouflage. And to see all the different patterns that he does, you can go to uh, uparmoredtripod.com. Of course, I'll have a link down below in the description. One of the things that's really unique about this setup is that each of these are uniquely done by Will. Uh, he does it with an airbrush. Everything is uh, done by hand. And it is a Duracoat finish. And then he does a, a coating, a, a, a finish over the top uh, to seal it, to protect it. You know, now that Cerakote's really big, in fact, he does also Cerakote finishes, but the Duracoat is easier to make a lot of cool designs. But one of the things that I've, that really led to uh, Up Armored Knives doing this process was he works for law enforcement. In fact, he's been in law enforcement for 20 plus years. And not only that, 15 years as the, uh, the tactical team sniper. And they were always trying to camouflage their gear and doing things. And so he started doing this process many years ago, and it really just turned into a business. And as you can see, why there would be a lot of demand for this. And he was also in the military for seven years in the National Guard. So Will's a guy who really knows what he's doing and that these finishes hold up. And one of the things that he was talking about to me specifically is that these finishes uh, are really durable. In fact, I took a knife, and I'm going to show you right here. I took a knife and started scraping right here to see how well this finish would hold up. And even though I was scraping it really hard, it never took any of the finish off. Uh, one of the things about Duracoat is that within about six minutes, it's good for the touch. And then after about six to eight hours, you can actually use it. But it continues to cure. So you have about six to eight weeks of curing time. What happens is a lot of guys get Duracoat and they start roughing it around and it's not quite cured, it's not quite ready. So after the six to eight week period, it also remains flexible. You wanna make sure that you don't abuse it up front, but then later on, it can take the abuse. In fact, these have been tested for the 300 hour saltwater test, which exceeds military requirements. It's also a hundred uh, inch pounds of pressure per inch. So it's got a really, hard surface to it. It's a polymer coating anyway. Any kind of coating, whether it's bluing, parkerizing, uh, even coating on your firearms, you know, it can be damaged. But these are really hard surfaces and as long as you just uh, do basic care, you're going to be fine with it. These are also impervious to oils and salts and solvents. So that's also really important. And then in this picture, it has the, the set before I sent it. And as you can see, it's more of a, you know, just your field dark earth, uh, Magpul stock, Mo stock, and an AB Arms fort front arm. And then I sent also one of the Black Hawk grips. I, I sent it specifically because it was hard and it had a lot of texturing on it. The magazines themselves are Tapco magazines and he gets it right up to a certain point where you insert it into your rifle. I also sent my Trigicon Reflex. Uh, it was pretty beat up and so it's really nice to get a really nice cool finish on it. Now one of the things that I really like about this Desert Skull uh, pattern is that really it looks more camouflage uh, from a distance. I mean, you can't tell the difference. And so, but then when you get up close, it's got a really cool motif on it. And then of course, the Benchmade Adamas. I had it sent, and this is the STR uh, skull pattern. And this has a really kind of a grayish black color to it, color scheme, a little bit different than the stock set. I did a review on this a while back. It's an excellent knife. And because it is really a, a beautiful, a very nice, not only utilitarian, but also can be used as a fighting knife. I thought it would be excellent to send this as well. And here's the stock set all into place. And uh, man, I think that is really awesome. One of the things I like though is being able to do something really unique. It really sets this AR-15 apart. And plus, it's durable enough to where this isn't going to be a safe queen. I'll have this out. In fact, uh, I know we have some tactical classes coming up, some defensive classes that I'll be taking and I'll definitely want to have this with me when I go. Anything that we have like problems or anything, of course, I'll report those on my Facebook page. You can go to Such uh, Fun Gun Reviews Facebook page. 
I'll have the link down below. You know, hit the like button and you can follow a lot of the stuff that I do that I don't actually put on my YouTube channel. Check it out. In fact, I just uploaded a bunch of pictures from the NRA event uh, with Hickok, Tim from Military Arms Channel, Corey and Erica, 22 Plinkster, and TN Outdoors 9, and uh, James Yeager. Just a whole load of guys that we were hanging out with. So check out the Facebook page. There's a lot of stuff on there. In fact, I uploaded pictures of this before I ever did the review. Okay, here we have the Magpul Mo stock, Blackhawk pistol grip, Tapco magazines. We have the AB Arms four end. I really like this four end. And then we have the Trigicon Reflex, which is an excellent optic in itself. Putting something together like this for your AR-15, I'm telling you guys, in a world of black rifles, this will really set you apart. So while we'll coat stocks, knives, accessories, optics, things like that, he does not coat firearms. He's not an FFL holder, so please don't ship any firearms to him. But what he does coat, he does a fantastic job. So go to uparmortripod.com. You can check out all the different designs that he does. There is a price list for all the different type knives and stock sets, whatever you're going to be doing. And if there's something unusual you want to do, I'm sure he'll give you a quote on it. He's a master craftsman with his knife work. And then, of course, with his... Uh, Duracoating and Cerakoting does just fantastic work. Highly recommend it. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. You know, the Adamas Benchmade, and the a bit. Yeah, I don't know this guy. Knives, different things like that. He does not uh, finish. <laughs>